talk about the model swap for agrohydrological simulations. This is a model promoted by www.watermodels.com. Swap is a Dutch model developed at Wageningen University in the Netherlands. It is free to download. It's an open source code. It's a relatively old model, more than 30 years history. It comes from the Swap model and they had the several versions until the last version available in the website. Swap is a physically based model following a similar approach than Hydrus. Why agrohydrological models? Well, actually they are available, computers are available, data is available, so why not to use them, especially for planning and assessing agricultural options, climate change, irrigation efficiency? We encourage you to go to www.watermodels.com to check some typical applications of these models. The theory behind agrohydrological models <laughs> relies in two basic equations, Darcy equation and continuity equation or mass conservation law. Darcy equation uh, relates the soil water flow with uh, the hydraulic gradient according to a coefficient called uh, hydraulic conductivity. The continuity equation is the mass conservation equation uh, with a sink term in the right side of the equation. The soil water flow equation is actually the combination of the two equations we talked before coming into a single equation, very very complex, in partial derivatives, second order, that has practically no analytical solution. Uh, The physically based models as SWAP, Hydrus and many others are based on the Richards equation, which is the flow equation, the combination we took before. The solution of this equation requires the soil hydraulic properties, the soil water retention and the hydraulic conductivity both at functions of the potential. Besides, there should be some functions about root water uptake or a sink term included. The numerical solution of Richard's equation requires discretization of time and death variables. Differentials are turned into increments. Those increments should be small enough to keep convergence requirements. The Van the model of soil water retention is usually considered of West as the Moal equation for hydraulic conductivity. In this case, only two functions and four parameters are needed. The soil water characteristic curve relating the soil water content and the soil water pressure has an S shape, which is well captured by Van Genusten model. This uh, model has several parameters, uh, the saturated and residual water content and the alpha N and M. M and N are actually related. The hydraulic conductivity function has a more complex shape and a more complex equation according to Moalen theory. But in practice, it's uh, only two parameters uh, required. It's lambda and the saturated hydraulic conductivity. Therefore, in summary, the swap soil input uh, comprises the residual water content, the saturated water content, the alpha and n parameters of Van Genusten model, the saturated hydraulic conductivity and the lambda 
a parameter for the hydraulic conductivity function. The soil hydraulic properties are actually difficult to measure. They show a very high spatial variability as well. That's why in the last year, pedotransfer functions became popular. They estimate the hydraulic properties, uh, usually related to Van Genusten model or Moalen theory, using uh, or considering other soil properties as mechanical composition, organic matter content or soil density. The Rosetta neural pedotransfer function is very famous, but uh, also in the European Union there are uh, pedotransfer functions for European soils. In summary, which data do you need to run swap model? There is a basic but important file HWP you need meteorological data, you need irrigation data, swap channel, you need the, the daily or simple crop growth with phenological data, root water, root water uptake and the root depth grow and, and, and also optional drainage data. All these files are required to run swap and we can in the Water model course be very specific about these files. Numerical models as uh, SWAP or physically based model as SWAP, Hydros, use uh, a numerical solution of the Richards equation to estimate water contents in depth and time. But there is a simple approach, the cascading approach, which divided the soil in layers and they just need the fill capacity and the minimum water content. And then they estimate the as, as a cascade the water in the bottom layer. This is a very simple approach that needs uh, less computer requirements and uh, less properties and has been very, very used. This table shows comparison between physically based model and using a numerical approach and cascade models. Basically, the agricultural models as Desisat, uh, Stix, uh, are use uh, the cascade approach, while more hydrological oriented models uh, consider a numerical approach. Which approach should be used? Well, actually, we recommend numerical models, especially when the, you are dealing with drainage and contaminant pollution, when you need accurate predictions of crop irrigation requirement, and especially when the capillary raising is present. Furthermore, the main two advantages of cascading approach are less computer requirement and less information required. But nowadays, computer speed and capacity is not a problem, and the pedo transfer functions can actually estimate all the variables required in physically based models. Want to learn more? <laughs> we have a swap complete course. Visit www.watermodels.com and check what the, the course content. Otherwise, feel free to contact us to ask about the course features and uh, what could you learn. By the way, the course could be customized to larger audiences uh, or even uh, lectures. Okay, we are available.